This video is brought to you by LogRocket, the front-end performance monitor that records videos of user sessions along with logs and network data, surfacing problems and revealing the root cause of every bug. Try it today at LogRocket.com YT. In this video, we're going to go over promises and three different promise methods that you can use when writing JavaScript or Node code. The three methods we're gonna go over are all, all settled, and race. And so we're gonna look at each of these, what they do, how they differ, and what the specific behavior is of each of these. So we will take a look at these three methods. And before we do, let's define a couple of key terms here. So first we'll be settled, and then we'll define resolve and then reject. Now settled is either when something resolves or rejects. So when a function returns or completes. Okay, so that is when a promise returns, completes, resolves, or rejects, all three of those, all four of those. Uh, resolve is when a promise returns successfully or when it completes successfully. And last but not least, reject is when a promise returns unsuccessfully or it fails. So we've got these three definitions and this would be if the function resolves or passes or successfully completes. Okay, so we've got those three down. Now let's jump into the actual methods themselves. We'll do all, all settled and race. So starting with all, the syntax for this would be promise.all, and then we would pass in a array, an array of promises here, and then we'll have a then function where we'll execute code after all of our promises have resolved, and then we'll have a catch statement. Okay, so this all is really going to be all resolved, and then we'll have a then statement, which will execute if all resolve, and if any fail, we'll go to our catch statement, okay? So we have two paths here. If all resolve, we'll jump into our then statement. If any fail, we'll jump into our catch. So we have this syntax for calling our all. Now let's define our promises here. So we'll have promise one, and this will just be a brand new promise. Within this, we'll have our resolve and reject functions. And let's just do something simple in here. We'll do just timeouts for all of these promises that we're going to be declaring. So within here, let's log out that we're in promise one, just so we can be clear of what's happening as we're reviewing this. And then to begin with, we'll just resolve this add some semicolons, and then we'll just duplicate this to be our second promise. So let's clean this up and just edit both of those so it's promise two. Okay, so now we should see promise one, promise two, and now let's make sure we're passing in both of our promises here. So this is gonna be promise one and promise two, and now we have our then statement and our catch. So just to make this a little clearer, we can put these on different lines and we'll want to have a function within then. In this function, this is the value that's passed to it, uh, which is whatever comes in here. So this could be value one. And since we're resolving, this could be value two. Okay. And in this then statement, let's console log out. Everything resolved. Then in our catch statement, we actually don't have anything defined in here yet. So let's give it a function. And this would be the reason for why it's catching. And this here would actually be values. So this is gonna be an array of different values for each of the promises that are resolving. So let's just log that out as well so we can be clear about that and we can inspect that. And then in this catch statement, we're going to log out one of them failed. Okay, and then in here, we can also log out our reason. Okay, so let's give this a look. Just walking through this code, we'll see that we have promise one and two, and we actually need to add timeouts for these, otherwise they won't properly timeout. So let's have a 500 second, milli 
500 millisecond timeout for the first one and a 1000 millisecond timeout for the second one. So this should immediately log this promise one and then half a second later, it will log our promise one. One second later, it'll log promise two. And then since both are resolving, it should say everything resolves and it should pass our values in here. So let's run this here and we'll run this promises file that we have. So we see promise one, promise two, everything resolved. And then we see the two values that we're passing in here as an array. Okay, good. So everything did resolve. Let's see what happens if we reject one. So let's say we reject. And again, this is the reason. And we can say promise one was bad. Okay, so we'll reject this first one. And uh, the second one still can resolve after a millisecond, after one full second, which would be a thousand milliseconds. Let's run this again. This time we see we get promise one and one failed. So as soon as it does promise one, then it's gonna jump into this catch clause, this catch function, because like we said up here, if any fail, then it immediately goes into our catch statement. Okay, so we have promise one, one failed, and the reason that it failed is promise one was bad. And then promise two is still gonna execute. It's not gonna stop its execution completely. It's gonna finish off what it's doing, but it just so happens that we've already caught the reason for the first promise failing. So just keep in mind, this is gonna finish off, but uh, we're not really gonna handle it anyway. Okay, let's switch this around. And we have, just so we can see exactly how this would behave, we'll resolve the first one now. And let's make this value one. And then we'll reject the second one, okay? So let's run this one more time, clear out our console. And now we see promise one runs and promise two runs and one failed. So one of our promises, not necessarily the very first one, but one of our promises failed and promise two was bad, okay? So we get the still get this reason out here. We see promise two was bad. So that's any. Uh, excuse me, that's all. If all resolve, then we'll jump into our then function. Otherwise, if any of them fail, then it will go to the catch statement here. Okay, and now let's take a look at all settled. Go ahead and copy all this code so we don't have to write it over again. And let's drop this below all settled. Okay, let's tab this back and we'll comment out all of this. Okay, so let's change this one to all settled so we can inspect how that works. And in this case, with all settled, we actually don't have a catch function. So it's always gonna go to our then. So let's get rid of this catch, clear this out. And in here, again, we'll have our, this will be our values. Um, this, this is actually gonna be an array of objects that contain whether each promise resolved or rejected, and then if it resolved, it'll contain the value. Otherwise, it will contain the reason for the rejection. So this is gonna be more like responses. And in here, this is not gonna be everything resolved. This is gonna be everything settled, okay? So this will be all promises settled. And then we'll log out our responses. And we can go ahead and keep this so we still have promise one. We'll resolve it with value one and promise two, and then we can reject promise two and say that it was bad. Okay, so let's go ahead and clear out our console again and try running this. We get an error here, and that is because all settled is not a function in the version of Node that we're using, which is Node 10. Okay, so if we want to use all settled, then we need to use Node 12.9 or higher. So if it's greater than or equal to 12.9. So we'll go ahead and use node 13. And all settled is supported in all modern browsers. So as long as you're using a modern browser or a transpiler like Babel or something similar, or if you're using node 12.9 or higher, then you can use all settled. So let's continue on and we'll run this again. And you can see, let's see, similar functionality where it's waiting until after the second one runs. So we see promise one, promise two, all promises settled. And then we see this array of their statuses and their value or their reason. So it rejected, second one rejected. And so it gives the reason for the rejection. 
the first one fulfilled, it gives the value for that fulfillment. Where we're gonna see this being different is if our first promise rejects, under all, promise.all, we would see that it would me immediately jump into the catch statement. But here it's just going to continue execution and wait for everything to resolve. Excuse me, everything to settle. That's a very important distinction. And once everything is settled, then it'll go ahead and log out these different statuses and values. Okay, so now we're rejecting on our first promise. We'll say promise one is bad. And we'll resolve our second one. And this is going to be all promises settled. Okay, so that's saved. We can clear this out and run it again. We'll still see that promise one and two both run before we get to our all promises settled statement. Okay, and remember this is our then. So we could say then here, all promises settled. Okay, so even though our first promise is rejecting, we still wait for our second promise to resolve or, or reject, and then we see all the values uh, and reasons for things in here. So that's all settled. Let's move on to the next one, which is race. So we'll go ahead and copy this and put this below race and drop this back. And then let's comment this out so we don't have to see the output from this. Okay, so now with race, let's change this last one to race. Race again will have a catch statement. So let's add in a catch statement here again. And we'll add a function here. And in here, race is going to be the first promise that, re that returns or the first promise that settles it will either jump into the then statement or the catch statement. So this would be if the first promise rejected. And this would be if the first promise resolved. Okay, so up here, if we want to leave a note, then we could say first promise. We've already kind of done this in our logs, but we can say first promise resolves. Then Otherwise, first promise rejects catch. Okay, so we have the same code as before with the promises that we're passing in, promise one and two, where we have the first promise rejecting, promise one is bad, and the second promise resolving. And again, we're gonna see this here. Um, with our then statement, we're gonna get a different parameter passed in here. So this is going to be, if it's a then, then this will be the value of that first promise that resolves. And if it's catching, then this is gonna be the reason. All right, and we can log out the reason as well down here. All right, so let's give this a look. What do we think is gonna happen here? First promise resolves, then we'll jump into the then statement. If the first promise rejects, then we'll jump into the catch statement. And this first promise is going to reject, so we, so we should jump into catch here. Let's clear this out and run it. So we see promise one, first promise reject. First promise rejected. Promise one was bad because that's the reason for the rejection. And then we're still gonna have promise two finishing its execution, it's still running. Um, we're not gonna stop it from running, but that will be how it is. So like, we can switch that up and let's have the second promise reject and the first promise resolve. Switch this value to be value one and this one to be promise two. Okay, so now even though our second promise is rejecting, because our very first promise is resolving, then we should see this value one and we should be jumping into this then statement. So let's be crystal clear here and crystal clear here. Okay, now if we run this, we see promise one then first promise resolved and value one, which is the value that we're logging here. And promise two still executes even though promise two is actually rejecting. If we want to be very explicit, um, if both of them resolve, then it's gonna go to the then statement. If both of them reject, it will go to the catch statement. But what's, mo what's most interesting here is when one resolves and one rejects and we saw the behavior there. So that's a wrap up of promises with all, all settled in race, the difference of each of these and how they behave. Hopefully that helps out 
And if you like this video, if you wanna see more like it, then go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Otherwise, we will see you in the next one.